Hello Scorpio, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Also, I would like to thank you guys. Uh, the video that I uploaded, I think it was last week or five, six days ago, was the most viewed. So thank you so much, Scorpio. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting me. So we'll see what do you need to know from the 15th through the 25th. What are the general messages for you guys? As usual, these are general. If you would like a personal a reading, please see the description box below. All right, so let's see what does Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know, please. What do they need to know? What is going on? What is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio, please, from the 15th to the 25th. One more. Okay, let's see. Eight of Cups. Okay. Piscean energy. Someone here is, here is feeling like they, they have to give up on all of the other options here and just pursue their own their only happiness. We're talking here only about one desire, one wish, one want. There's been a lot of up and downs here. And this card is saying like, okay, whatever did not work, whatever... Uh, was in the past that was confusing here and if it, this is not your energy this is a person that surrounds you now i'm gonna only follow my wish fulfillment my desire we do have a taurus energy hierophant and the page of swords this person may be keeping an eye on you there's a certain disappointment here but they're still very much waiting with the two of uh, ones here i feel like they're waiting here to make a choice a decision time but i'm getting a disappointment type of energy Someone feeling that they need to walk away. Okay. Five of Swords. We are starting here strong. Someone feels defeated. A lot of conflict for some of you. A lot of bullying going on. This may be also uh, a question of... Do I, do I move forward here? Do I let all the conflict... The situation is complicated here, Scorpio, starting right away with the Five of Swords. Someone may be feeling scornful. Because I see that they're trying to walk away. Shamed as well here if something happened. All right. So the immediate, a very Aquarius energy, by the way, for the ones that are dealing with an Aquarius. The immediate challenge here is for you or the person here that you're connecting, hope. We're talking about healing hope. Reconciliation very much can be with the star. Optimism here. Because the five of swords, it can be very much these obstacles, this uh, idea of things uh, are not going to turn out well. There's a lot of um, situation, especially mind games going on. It's just being more optimistic here and hoping. At the root of this, we do have distance, but also we are talking here cancer energy. About going for this situation, going for this goal, concentrating, not accepting defeat with the Five of Swords. Knowing that no matter what, what's going to happen, I'm determined to win here. That's the energy. It's not over. We will clarify the Five of Swords, by the way. In the past, I think Aries had that as well. In the past, someone has been carrying a lot of burden. A lot of passion to the point of exhaustion here. Blame. I'm getting, again, I'm getting very specific here. Blame with these two. Someone may have not played the cards right here. A guilt. This, If this person did something here, Scorpio, there's definitely some guilt on their part. Guilt and passion here mingled together. And we have the devil. This is at the moment presently what's happening. A lot of lust. A lot of addiction for some of you. Codependency happening. They're feeling trapped by their feelings. Wow. Okay. We went from the devil to the nine of cups. And I'm going back to this. Eight of cups. Uh. Is before nine of cups this person is pursuing that 
wish fulfillment as i mentioned and this is what they want this is what i want this is all i want wow so wish fulfillment that's your immediate whatever is going on and it's been a tough road here looking at the five of swords when i look at the five of swords starting right away i know it's not it's a lot of conflict it's a lot of people being involved it's a lot of uh, mind games someone wants to win at you know at no matter what they have to do at all costs distance may be a situation but looking at this in the end this person is coming with the wish fulfillment you you or them towards you this is your immediate future here so what is your attitude here i'm getting the distance card again communication action just taking action quick this is also the internet for me as a reader uh, messages instant messages because it's so quick is that mercury in sagittarius very spontaneous uh, you know, sometimes it can be just acting and not thinking a little bit here. But you, that's all you are. You're all fire here or pure instinct. Communication and messages are, that's that's your attitude here. What surrounds you? Eight of Pentacles. We are talking here of putting effort. Work. This person may be busy at work. This person person may be someone that you work with but we're talking about putting a lot of effort and a lot of work investing here more in something that they know they're going to get uh you know to be independent freedom self-sufficient virgo energy so what is happening here in your hopes and fears your emotions you have the emperor dominant male energy the emperor this we are talking here about family but we're talking about control structure stability security someone taking responsibility especially if they have not the the emperor is someone that will take responsibility granted they don't like to be wrong the emperor never does but he will take responsibility and this is a bill i don't even want to clarify here i will clarify but we have the lovers we have the lovers here i don't know if you guys can see here the best possible outcome out of this situation i have to tell you though this is what i see scorpio here your attitude here is with the eight of wands as i mentioned very quick very to the point this person here or situation that is outside of you eight of pentacles they know that there's work to be put in very kind of earth and and fire here not easy not easy um situation between the two of you and that that's where the conflict may be where you are ready here they need work they need to put work the other situation that are uh that are conflicted they're willing they are very much long term here very long term let's clarify and then we had the eight the hierophant here i feel like it's the same as the emperor we're talking here about family structure authority authority type of situation going on government society all right so let's see let's see let's clarify a little bit further One more the emperor keeps coming some of you if you're not dealing with an uh, aries we're talking here again about a power struggle about control security family okay so um this five of swords to me is all about pride someone here is very much passionate very very passionate here they're, they're trying they're trying to keep this passion very much to themselves they are at war here when it comes with their pride and their wants that's that's what i'm seeing here and this may be you this may be the person that you are related to our situation but again this person will not accept defeat with with the leo energy here
trying not to, to, to also to, to get away from conflict. Okay, so here we have the Ace of Wands, new passion, new inspiration, opening up to this possibility here with the star, hoping, being optimistic about this new passion that is approaching you. If for the ones here that already know who this person is and if something has happened here in the past where things did not go through because of a certain obligation, I feel like uh, you still, that, that's what you have to surpass. You still have to hope that you guys still have the passion for one another here. But for others, believing that still there's going to be this new beginning in your life. Very inspirational. That's what I'm getting. To be inspired here and optimistic. All right. So very much uh, there's been crossroads here in this journey, in this distance. We have two, two type of situation going on. So there, there was some type of crossroads and someone could not take a, uh, um, could not make a choice, could not uh, go forward here. You're also hoping that finally someone makes that decision. This is subconscious, by the way. Okay. Because of a certain investment, because of a certain... Uh, first of all, this person has been holding this for a long time with the Seven of Pentacles, this burden. They've been nurturing it to the point here that they are exhausted because, again, they felt that there was going to be something here that was going to come be rewarded. So, again, someone has been investing that time. Still, they have not given up, I feel like, even if it's showing in the past, because devil is what's uh, at the moment presently what's going on. But investing a lot of this, being in love or being uh, regarding a work situation, they're still carrying that burden. Okay. The devil with the three of wands, not giving up here on these expectations. Again, some of you, it is distance because I'm getting a little bit of a distance situation here, observing from afar. But uh, the Three of Wands are very much about expectations. Frustration here of waiting. I'm getting a lot of frustration <laughs> with the past here and, and this energy. But yeah, they're very stuck here and waiting. Three of Wands is someone that has their intention, has set their intentions. And we had the Two of Wands there. So they feel stuck and they feel like they have to observe and wait. Get If this is you, Scorpio, do not let this keep you tied down. Make those intentions clear and uh, pack your bag kind of a thing and, uh, and move forward with this situation. Wow, okay, this, I mean, what can I say? This is beautiful. Page of Cups and Nine of Cups, an offer of love, a wish fulfillment regarding this initial, uh, I feel like it's a message. I don't necessarily feel it's like a proposal. The pages are very much the initial, the, the beginning here. But if you have been waiting for someone to express uh, their love or to proclaim their love here, this is what this is saying. My heart is full. My desires are becoming true. My wish fulfillment is coming true. The person I want is coming through. Yep, you're ready for this reconciliation. This is your attitude. You're ready for it. Come together here from this person. Okay. High Priestess energy. They're working into a situation here, but with the High Priestess, again, they are emotional. It's not just pure here, uh, being very practical with that Eight of Pentacles. Someone is very much putting a lot of work, even if they're not telling you subconsciously. The psychic here, this may be you or the person here that you related to. You are connecting with them and they're connecting with you. But again, they're taking their sweet time, I feel like, with that Eight of Pentacles. All right, so here comes the eight of uh, eight of uh, cups. You feel maybe this person walked away, 
because of a certain obligation, because of a certain uh, responsibilities. You're hoping though that they finally make a decision. The Nine of Cups is coming towards you. There's a certain disappointment from that emperor. Okay. Very fire element. Some of you, I feel like the emperor and the king of wands is very much the same. But this is a person that is coming towards you or the decision that you're going to make. For my male viewers, I know I have a, a few of you out there as well that are watching. I want to keep you in mind as well. But uh, a lover's decision here, Gemini energy and the king of wands. Uh, uh, it's a, I was going to say Scorpio. <laughs> it's, it's you, so maybe it is you. But we are talking here about a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo. Or Aries. This is who's coming towards you guys. Very passionate, very emotional. A decision here with the lovers is a decision that is going to impact greatly both of you. But it's a lover's decision. It is two people kind of wanting, seeing uh, each other, the mirror of one another here. So this person is making a decision and they're coming forward. They're coming forward with a wish fulfillment towards you. They're opening up. They're extending their love. They're offering the cup here, Scorpio. I want to clarify a little bit that King of Wands. Who is the King of Wands and how it's related? We're going to get three cards. How they're related to you. Is this you? Is this someone that is approaching you? What do we need to know about the King of Wands? We need three cards, please. Three cards about the King of Wands. One more. Wow, communication, truth, breakthrough. Remember at, at the foundation of this we had the two of swords here someone was indecisive you were waiting for this situation you were hoping passionate so remember this is the immediate situation that you're going to be challenged here are you going to accept this are you gonna get accept this new passion for some of you maybe brand new <sighs> we got the empress so definitely a couple. Remember, we have the emperor here. Reverse the roles who is watching here. But man, this person has a lot of passion here. And uh, with the empress energy, is is the total package uh, for me, the empress. She is a, uh, the divine feminine above all the queens here. And this is so beautiful. Whoever is this meant to, please guys remember, these are pretty general. So I don't know who is meant the message for. But this is beautiful. With the conflicts that this started at the heart of the problem, trust. Do not let your pride here or the hurt or blame from uh, what, what has happened here, Scorpio, because the outcome is beautiful. What is telling you that the immediate challenge is for you is to accept this beautiful energy. To be optimistic here and healing through this experience. It's a new passion, a new beginning. Whatever has happened in the past here, it was in the past. At the moment, you very much remember presently, consciously, you have this, this, uh, the devil here and the three of wands. And I feel someone kind of feeling tied down here because of a certain ex expectations here. And um, when it comes to the anticipation, but what's coming, this person is making a huge decision here, heart to mind decision. And they're coming here very much open and offering love towards this empress energy. That, that's that's what I see. It's it's a beautiful um, outcome. And the immediate future is, again, the wish fulfillment. So um, I hope it does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Again, thank you so much for your support. And if you would like a personal reading um, or a birth chart, please see uh, description box below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.